hello everyone welcome back to my channel my hair is looking a little wild today so for today's video i am planning to talk about some of my pregnancy cravings i've had some pretty normal ones but i feel like i've also had some pretty strange ones so i thought i would make a video currently while filming this i am 16 weeks i still have a long ways to go so I don't know if I'll get any new cravings or not, but I thought it would be cool to just sit down and talk about the cravings I have so far. So I'll just kind of start with first trimester. Before I knew I was pregnant, I was like probably four weeks pregnant at this time. I was really craving a chocolate milkshake and a Big Mac. So I found that really weird, but at that time I thought it was just my period coming because sometimes I'll get those weird cravings like that. Obviously it was not. So that's one craving. So for sure, chocolate milkshakes my whole first trimester. I wanted chocolate milkshakes all the time. Um, another first trimester, I shouldn't say craving. It's really all like my body would tolerate was pizza rolls and corn dogs. That is pretty much what I lived off of for the first few weeks after finding out I was pregnant. Um, I was dealing with nausea. I never actually got sick, but that was the only food that didn't make me nauseous. So that's what I ate, mostly for my lunches and stuff. I was pretty much, by the end of the day, able to eat whatever we were having for supper, which was usually a protein and vegetables. So I tried to eat something for breakfast like a bagel or you know something with some protein also so a bagel and um, sausages or whatever just that way I could have somewhat balanced meals but it was pretty much corn dogs and pizza rolls next thing is lemonade the whole first trimester all I wanted was lemonade or raspberry lemonade and then now I could go without lemonade that was one of my first for sure cravings that I was like, I have to have it. So I did do that for a little while. It didn't last very long. Now I'm like, I don't really care about lemonade. So anyway, another craving that came from the beginning was bone broth. I wanted bone broth so bad. I have had bone broth previous to being pregnant and I did not enjoy it so I found it really strange that I wanted bone broth. The next thing that started at the end of the first trimester was hot chocolate. So I kind of switched from wanting chocolate milkshakes all the time to wanting hot chocolate. So that kind of happened when the colder weather came around so that probably has something to do with it but I love having hot chocolate. I don't have it every day because I don't necessarily want it every day but that was a craving that did come along at the end of the first trimester that's still sticking with me the next thing that started in my first trimester was polish sausage with white rice and it is so so good today i actually had that for lunch but i had a bunch of other stuff with it so i did white rice polish sausage a couple boiled eggs and then spicy mayo so I have been craving that or wanting that for a while. So that's not like the worst craving I don't feel like. The funny thing is I started craving spicy mayo when I got into my second trimester after I had it at this ramen place we went to. So at the end of my first trimester, we went to a ramen restaurant like a traditional ramen restaurant it was so good we had never had it before i think it was a new restaurant the only downside is it's like an hour and a half away from me so the likelihood of me getting more ramen is very slim because we don't go down there that often but anyway at that restaurant we got an appetizer it was their like basically popcorn chicken and like the spicy mayo dip type thing it was so good and Spicy mayo in the ramen was also good. I got miso ramen. I've been craving miso ramen since I had it at that restaurant. I've really been craving hearty broth. That's why the bone broth and soups that are more broth based I have really been into. 
ramen has been a bit craving the spicy mayo has been a bit craving i've been putting the spicy mayo on almost anything i can put spicy mayo on that it's tasting good with i don't put it on anything weird i think the weirdest thing that i put it on was like chips oh another thing that i started craving i can't really remember if it hit me during the first trimester i feel like it did but i didn't get to satisfy the craving till the second trimester and that was olive garden salad and breadsticks I have been wanting Olive Garden salad and breadsticks for so long and I finally got to have it but again the closest Olive Garden is at least an hour away so I don't really get to have that very often which is probably a good thing. Another thing is sesame chicken and rice. Anytime I'm near a an Asian restaurant their food smells so good to me and I want to go in and order some kind of sesame chicken or orange chicken with rice so anyway i've been craving stuff like that um now to get into more sweet things i have i had this random craving for the blow pop suckers and i don't know why i haven't had one in a few days it's like one of those things i'm craving it but not every day so sometimes I'll have one or two in a day and then I'll go a few days without having one. I did get a craving for those just recently. So, and then another craving is sweet tarts. I have not had sweet tarts since being pregnant, but my mom had some and shared with me and they tasted really good to me. So, so I really like those. And another candy, I guess that I like is Sour Patch Kids. They taste really good to me. I like I'm not really into dessert unless it's got like a little bit of sour. So like candy, it has to be a little bit sour for me to eat it. I'm not really into any kind of dessert except for ice cream cakes from Dairy Queen. And that's really the only dessert food that I have enjoyed while being pregnant. Another sweet thing that I have really started craving and I want this every day. And it's so unfortunate because I know I can't have it every day. So I don't allow myself to have it every day, but my craving is fruit tea. I could drink it all day, every day. And that really started recently. Like I had had it in my first trimester and it tasted good to me, but I really started craving it every day during my second trimester. So that is all of my pregnancy cravings. I feel like I rambled quite a bit in this video but i thought that it would be cool to share what i've been craving so far and things that i did crave in my first trimester so that is all i have for you guys for today's video and i really hope that you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next one